Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm back and I have a ton to update you guys on. But first we gotta get the plane ready because I have a buddy on his way with his new car so we can take some photos together. Let's go. buddy on his way here right now with his new car so I'm gonna set you guys down get this thing ready alright guys I'm exhausted we did got a lot of great photos the sunset was freaking beautiful couldn't have asked for a better evening but I owe you guys an update. So in the last video, I introduced the plane to you guys and I had so many people interested in messaging me. So thank you guys so much for the support. I have some really big news for you that I'll share in the next video. Uh, but for this video, I wanna give you guys an update. So I have been working on the plane all week. I actually pulled the original instrument panel completely out and uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm going through and just rewiring the entire thing. Uh, it's been a long time since this plane has gotten some love. Um, a lot of the avionics that it has are pretty outdated. I got some new avionics that I'm really excited about, so I'll show you guys that in the next video. Um, but what I'm doing is basically I'm gonna try anyways to build a uh, a new instrument panel completely out of carbon fiber. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that process now. All right guys, so we're back. It's the next day now. So yesterday we applied the epoxy to the, the mold that we have. I also tested out my iPad cover thing here. So basically I uh, just covered this iPad case uh, with saran wrap. So my goal is that the carbon fiber is gonna just wrap directly over this to make a nice like flush mount. And I wanted to make sure that this was sealed so I wrapped it and then I put it in the sink and I let it sit for a few hours and pretty much no water went in so the next step once we're finished with the mold out there we'll just cover this with the mold release wax and then we also have this other one to do and then once these are both done we'll kind of like sticky them down into place somehow and then uh, and then we can start wrapping with the, the carbon fiber and vacuum injecting it. And now what we gotta go do is we gotta go sand down, uh, make sure our surface is extra smooth and apply another coat of epoxy. So let's go. But first, Starbucks. All right, so come over here, check this out. We gotta go to Home Depot today to get some supplies to finish our panel mold. So I got some MDF. I know I had my friend CNC cut out a hole, basically uh, a mold in it. And so we have to go to Home Depot to get some supplies. We gotta sand it down uh, and do another coat of epoxy. So come over here, I'll show you the basic idea. I don't wanna give away too much because I'm really excited and I wanna do a grand reveal. I don't know if it's gonna turn out that great, but I want it to be cool. So anyways, check this out. This is the basic idea. So this is uh, the part, this is kind of the inside part of the piece of wood that we cut out. And these are gonna be the two iPads that are basically uh, gonna be flush mounted into here. So that being said, let's go. Home Depot, the home away from home recently it seems. What do you think? Definitely. All right, let's get some stuff. Cleaner, 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 cleaner. What cleaner do we get? Oh. We'll get this one. All right, so we just got back from Home Depot. Come check it out. So, uh, you guys probably already watched, but we glued these things together, put a layer of epoxy, and now it's time to clean it. I got these things at Home Depot. We're gonna clean it. Uh, I've already sanded it. 
We're gonna lay another layer of epoxy to get it nice and smooth, ready for carbon fiber that arrives here in a couple days. Uh, then what we're gonna try to do is lay the iPads in the iPad cases in here and figure out uh, how we can leave them in here so they become part of the mold so they'll be flush mounted into the panel itself. So uh, let's get to work. Safety first. Just kidding, these are obvious. <laughs> Not safety glasses. I already blew this out with air. Now we're just cleaning it with this stuff here. Just want to make sure the better the mold, the better our product will come out in the end. And if we're gonna try to make it to Oshkosh this year, we want this to look good. I think that's pretty good. So now what we gotta do is we gotta mix some epoxy and uh, do another coat. All right, so this is the epoxy we're using. We got this stuff, uh, this is extra hard epoxy, uh, which is good for uh, the mold here. Uh, because then it'll make sure that our other epoxy that we're using doesn't have any sort of reaction to this. It, the only thing is, with this stuff, they did recommend that we wait seven days before putting the carbon fiber in here because we're gonna vacuum inject it. So basically, right now, I'm just double checking the mixture. So four parts resin to one part hardener. So we have the scale right here. You basically just put the bucket on there and then we weigh it out. So. Four parts epoxy to one part hardener, right? Resin, resin to hardener. So we're just gonna weigh this out. Uh, we don't need a whole lot, really, so uh, we'll, we'll just see. Okay, so now we're gonna just go up to 20. Try not to go too fast here. Better not go too fast, but can't go too slow. That's what she said. Whoa! That's gonna be a big blob. Oh, yeah, perfect. All right, cool. That's what she said. <laughs> I got one too. Wait, what was yours about? Because all I heard you say was perfect. The big blob. You were like, that's gonna be a big blob too. All right, cool. So now that we got this, we'll just start with the stick here. I think mine was better. It was better. You're right. Okay. Alright guys, so while we're waiting for the epoxy to dry or cure, cure. Uh, and then we're also waiting for the water on the iPad thing with the saran wrap. I have a friend at the airport that I owe a gift to. Uh, he let me use his jacks when I was changing the wheels on my airplane. Uh, then I also noticed last time we were out at the airport that the tires were getting low. So we're gonna fill up the tires, see if my friend is there uh, to give him a surprise. And surprise, we're trying to surprise. <laughs> All right, we're gonna surprise my friend with this gift uh, if he's there. And then uh, if not, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go and fill up the tires with some air. And, uh, and then when we come back, we'll just wait for the resin to be cured, which will be tomorrow. So anyways, let's go. All right, so now that you guys saw a little bit about me uh, building that panel, I'll show you kind of the inside right now. Don't judge me, it's a complete mess, but it looks way better than it did. There were wires all over the place. It looked like a bowl of spaghetti. So uh, let's pop open the canopy and I'll show you guys what it looks like now. Yeah. All right, so come on in. So right now, there's no seats or anything in here. This is basically what it looks like, completely gutted. Uh, this is my uh, ratchet strap um, control lock here, and it also locks the uh, pedals down there. So basically the instrument panel would go here, and there's no instrument panel as you can see. These are all the wires for the ECU. Here's the plugs for the ECU up here, because 
the ECU was mounted back here. I'm looking at moving it to back in this area. And this is actually uh, one of the cutouts from my mold that I made. And this is for the AC. So there's a blower motor and then the AC stuff for AC blowing and then also my heater. So you can kind of see I've organized all of these wires and over there as well. Those are all the wires for everything total. You can see my dual fuel pumps here. A lot of people were asking about that. So that's basically the fuel system comes in from both wings into this contraption and then goes out to there. So one fuel pump can be completely dead and the other fuel pump has more than enough power to uh, power the whole engine. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to kind of show you guys what this is gonna turn into. I hope it turns into something great. So now I'm just gonna pack up the plane for today. Thank you guys for coming along this journey with me. And in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys wanna see. Uh, if you wanna see more of the like technical building stuff with uh, carbon fiber and stuff like that, I'll show it to you. I'm not an expert, this is my first time, I'm just giving it a shot. If you guys wanna see more about the wiring and the ECU and the things that I'm using for that, let me know. Um, yeah, just go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. As always, give me a subscribe as well if you like this content and let me know what I can do better. See you guys next time, peace.